In this video, we are going to be looking at special products of binomials. We're going to be looking for the shortcut for when A equals 1. Explain that when we get there. We'll be looking at squaring binomials and then finally finding the product of the sum and difference of two terms. This pattern is also called difference of squares. So let's get into it. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and multiply these two binomials together. Here we go. So we're doing y times y, y squared, and then y times 3, 3y. Now the negative 7 times y, negative 7 or minus 7y, and then negative 7 times positive 3. That's going to be a negative or a minus 21. We still need to add like terms. We got the y squared term right there. Now the y terms, that's a 3y minus 7y, makes a minus or a negative 4y, and then the constant term minus 21. Now what we want to do for the shortcut is back up and see where everything came from so we can do this a lot faster. So the y squared, that just came from y times y. Now for these a equal 1 style ones, we have no coefficient, no number in front of our variables, whether it's an x or a y or a z or a w or whatever. Now this middle number here, that came from 3 and minus 7. Well, there's the 3 and there's the minus 7. So you just add up the two numbers, the a and the b, there or there. And then this minus 21, it's the same two numbers, except they were being multiplied instead of added. So that's the negative 7 and the positive 3 being multiplied. So let's go ahead and have you try this one out, pause the video, and then come back and see how you did. Right, so our firsts, that's going to be x times x, x squared. Now the middle term, that's going to be the 5 and the 4, being added. So negative 5 and negative 4 being added up, that's going to make a negative 9. And in this case here, you got to put the x on there. And then for the last term of the trinomial, you just take those same two numbers and you multiply them together. So the negative 5, the negative 4 multiplied together makes 20. Next up, we're going to look for the shortcut for squaring a binomial. So here's an example here. So remember, this means we have two, 2x two minus 3s being multiplied together. So let's see what that looks like. There's one of the 2x minus 3s, and there's the other 2x minus 3 being multiplied together. Now we just do FOIL. So 2x times 2x makes 4x squared. 2x times negative 3 makes a minus 6x. Now the negative 3 times the 2x there is going to make another minus 6x, and then negative 3 times negative 3 makes a positive 9. We're still going to add like terms. We have the x squared terms there, so 4x squared there, and then the x terms, negative 6x, negative 6x added together makes negative 12x, and then the constant term is a 9. So again, we're looking for the shortcut, so we want to see where these numbers came from. So the 4x squared, that came from the 2x times itself, okay? That was your first term there. The, the a term is replaced by the 2x there. So we're just going to square that. And then we're going to have the middle term. Well, that came from these two minus sixes here, which came from two times three on both. And they're both negative in this case here, because we got the negative or the negative. So that's the 2x times the three being multiplied, and then, which makes negative six, and then double it. So we're going to multiply the two numbers together and then double it. And then our last, the nine, came from the number negative 3 and negative 3, that number right there, being squared or multiplied by itself. So now that you've seen the pattern once, go ahead and try this one out on your own, pause the video, come back, see how you did. So our firsts, that's going to be the 3x times itself. So 3x times 3x, 9x squared. Now the middle term, that's the tricky one that most people forget. We're going to go 3 times 4, and then double it. So 3 times 4 is 12. Doubled makes 24. And in this case here, x, 24x. And then for that last term, it, that's going to be the, the last number here times itself also. So that's going to be 4 times 4, or 4 squared makes 16. Now, again, the common error with this is forgetting that middle term. So whenever we have something that looks like this, for the middle term, Right? Most people remember x squared and y squared, x squared and y squared, but the middle term people forget about, so we don't want to forget that. Multiply whatever numbers are here and here, multiply the two numbers, and double them, whether it's a plus 
there or it's a minus there. All right, for this example here, we're going to multiply. It's called the product of the sum and the difference of two terms, and the pattern is difference of squares. So if we notice here, the numbers are exactly the same, 2x and 3, 2x and 3. The only difference is one's a plus, the other one's a minus. So we're just going to foil this or multiply this straight out. Here we go, 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times negative 3, that's going to be a negative 6x. 3 times 2x, another 6x, but this one's a positive. And then 3 times negative 3, that's going to be a minus 9. So here we go, adding like terms. We got the x squareds terms. We got 4x squareds there. For the regular x terms, it's a minus 6x plus 6x, and that's going to make 0x's. So we just ignore that. Don't even write it down. And then our constant term is a minus 9. So there's all multiplied out. Now, again, we're trying to look for the shortcut. So here we go. That 4x squared came from the first number being multiplied by itself. And then the minus 9 right there came from positive 3 times negative 3. So you just take the last number and it's a minus that number squared. Let's go ahead and have you try this one out real quick. Pause the video, come back, we'll see how you did. So the shortcut for this one, again, what we're going to do for the first term there, we just take this number out in front or this one here and square it. 3x squared is going to make 9x squared. And then for the last term on this, we're just taking the negative 4 and a positive 4. You either square the 4 and make sure it's negative or just do negative 4 times positive 4. Either way, it's a minus 16. So with our special products here, uh, when we have the same numbers, but one's a plus, one's a minus, there's going to be no middle term on this or no B term. So we just take the first number and square it, 9x squared. Take the last number and square it. That's going to be a 16. Make sure it's a minus 16 there. And then for your perfect squares, remember we're going to square the first term. 3x squared goes there. Take the last term, 4 squared is 16. And then don't forget about this middle part here. Multiply the two numbers and double it. So 3 times 4 is 12. Doubled makes 24.